This is the Fibonacci puzzle by Jesse Bourne. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with uh, the work of Jesse Bourne, he's also done the Vault puzzle, which is one of my favorites. Captain's Quest, uh, the list goes on. Every puzzle he makes is an improvement on the last. Quality is always outstanding. They're just a, a joy to solve. Um, this one, I'm sure, is no different. This is Fibonacci. Here's the certificate of authenticity. Only 610 of these have been made. This is 194. Cherry, Cadillacs, Holly, Paddock, Poplar, Rich Light, and Brass are the materials. And we can see a bit of the golden ratio in the background here. For those of you not familiar with the Fibonacci sequence, uh, it's essentially, I think it starts zero, one, and then you add these two for the next one. So that would be one. And then you add these two, which would be two. Then you add these two, which would be three, and then five, eight, 13, etc. You just always add the last two. And by doing that, you end up with like this like spiral. And if uh, you guys are probably seeing that diagram of that golden ratio being used a lot, and we see this in nature, we see this in flowers and plants, in genetics, in, in art, uh, in all sorts of different aspects of life. And that is the Fibonacci sequence. First of all, this does look like some type of turbine from a da Vinci-esque motor, which I, I really appreciate. Like this just even sitting on your desk looks, I mean, it's massive, it weighs a lot. It's, it just looks really cool. It looks like a really important gadget. On the bottom, a lot of spirals everywhere. Spirals here, spirals here, and a spiral here. This seems to want to turn, but it is stuck. Maybe this as well. I'm just seeing now on the inside, you actually, uh, there's some writing on the inside. Maybe, yeah, it just seems to be a date and a signature, but maybe that, uh, maybe we can save that for once we open it and you guys can see what that looks like inside. All right. So being that this is a Fibonacci puzzle, I would assume that there is some type of Fibonacci sequence here. So first of all, okay, all except one can turn. So all of them except one can slide down. Now, by the looks of it on the inside here, this looks like a brass maze. Looks like there are tiny little pins. I don't know if you can see those pins kind of here. And those pins, let me get closer here. Those pins shift in and out of a sort of labyrinth made of brass, as you can see. So the goal, my guess, would be to see where these pins lead us through. But again, we're trying to figure out some type of uh, sequence, I'm sure, or some type of, I'm sure it isn't random. So now this looks like it can spin. Oh, wait, does that spin if I, no. Okay. So sorry to interrupt uh, this puzzle solving experience, but apparently this video is sponsored by First Dot Shop. If you're looking for some of the highest quality playing cards, dope designs at affordable prices, check us out. And right now we are currently running a sale where you can get this jacket, which is super dope. Got a little pocket for your cards and this deck of cards, which is holographic gilded edges. You can get them both for a combo price of $90. Is it 90 or 80? 80. 80? Well, it's 80. $80, that's $175 value. You're almost saving 100 bucks. Go check it out uh, for a limited time only while supplies last at first.shop. That's it, back to the video, thanks. This one here seems to be the first one that can turn. And now it locks. So we go from here, and as you can see the path down here, locks, and we seem to have a I have a few pins down here, maybe that we have to move with uh, with these pieces. Okay, hold on a second. 
let's say that's zero. Zero, one. Uh huh. Uh, zero, one, two, that'd be two. Oh, that does not move. None of these move. Okay, so maybe this was wrong. So, if this is zero, zero, one, this would be one, unless this is zero now. Zero, one. Okay. Zero, this is zero. This would be zero, one, two. Or zero one one, sorry, zero one one. Oh, here we go. Zero one two. Wow. Zero one two three. And then zero one two three four five. That is insane if this is it. Oh wait, did I not get it? They're all in now. So now it's stuck. This undoes it, and I can undo almost all of them. Uh, let's try to go backwards in the sequence here. So this was five, zero, one, two, three. Which way am I going now? I forget which way I was turning. Ooh, things have gotten tricky. I'm not sure what orientation I was in. Was this here? The last move I did, zero, one, two, three, was this one. That one was already done. Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a second. Okay. So this is completely stuck if I'm here because I didn't do the right one. So if I wanted to go backwards, I would have to find the last sequence we did, which I think was three. Because it goes three, five. So three, five would have been here. Three would have been here. That's if this was oriented this way. So if I go here, they were all out except for a few. Well, it depends if that was zero. Which way was this oriented? the heck is going on? This one's stopping everything. This is, oh, uh, we got it. <laughs> we had it. I guess, I, I guess the goal was to get all these together and then, uh, and then open it up. Look at that. That's beautiful. Wait, so how does this work? So this is now, oh, uh, 
that is stuck there. And when I move it, that goes down. So, so one of these movements here, probably the last one is my guess. Oh, probably, probably the ones with the pins here. They were the ones to probably end up moving this, is my guess. Okay, wait, so how do we bring this back to the beginning? This is not solved until we really figure this out. So this now does this. Okay, this was the last one, wasn't it? Or was it the one with the pins? It was probably this one. And that was five. I guess one of them will rotate twice. One of them has to rotate twice. To get it back, I just have to go backwards in a sequence. You may gotta go, wait, do I go clockwise or counterclockwise here? I definitely go counterclockwise. Actually, no. That was to open it. Now it's open. I have to go clockwise. Yes. Why those two? Hold on. Oh, these were... No, it should be this one and this one. I mean, now it looks like we're back at the beginning, but we're definitely not. It was zero, one, one. Depending on where the zero is though, this could all, that was five. This one doesn't go in all the way. So it's not this one. That was like that. So really only these two doesn't make sense because if that was five zero one zero one two three it would be this one it wouldn't be two first it would be this one first so if it was the end you would just need one right here there would just need to be one that works It wouldn't be two. Why is it why is it two? I don't get why it would be these two. I am absolutely at a loss here. Because <laughs> that should not be turning. Oh now here we go.
Yes. Now we are at the beginning. Okay. Something I didn't totally understand, but let's try to see if we can get it to go. It'd be cool if we could just do it and reset it real quick. Okay, so that's one. That's zero, sorry. Zero, one, so it'll be this one. Uh, zero, one, one. Should be this one. That's zero. So it's zero now is this. So zero, one would be this. Zero, one, one would be this. Or this, oh, it'll be this. Uh, and now two, so it'd be zero, one, two, be this one. Ah. Um. This one. Three. Five. Dang, there we go, and we're back to the beginning. So, super genius puzzle. I mean, just a cool keepsake as well. Like, how cool is it to have a little safe like this and to be like, what's the combination? And then you just, you're just like, oh, the Fibonacci sequence. <laughs> and that's the only clue you give them. I think that is super rad. I kind of want to solve this one more time. It's just finding that first move. There you go. So we know that the first one is this, so it's so that's where your zero is, so that's zero. Is it this one or is it this one? Ah, that's my zero. So zero, boom. Now it's zero, one. Uh, zero, one, which is this one. Bam. Zero, one, again. Uh, now it's two, because one plus one is two. So zero, one, two, it's this one. Um, zero, one, two, three, now it's this one. And then for some reason, this one should go in here, because that's five. But I can just put it in on the last one. And now it opens. Or does it? I mean, I think I get it, but then I'm at the end of it and I, I kind of don't understand what's happening because there's a part of me that really believes like that I found a solution, but then there's a part of me that's like, no, wait, there's something I don't understand because when I get to that final number, this is zero, okay? Let's run through this one more time. This is zero. Yes, this is the beginning, okay. So one of these allows everything to turn. I think it's this one. Yeah. Boom. That's zero. Now, this is one. Ouch. Right? This is where I get confused, because that's zero, one, two, three. This is three, which turns... And then this one should, this one should go in. Because that's the final one. But uh, for some reason it only wants to go in here. And then I can turn it. Which I don't fully get. And I, now it's not opening again. I feel like I need to contact Jesse just to be sure. Hey. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Good, how are you? Doing good. Good. Hey, say hi to everybody. Hey. <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, I've, I think I've like, I've solved this puzzle maybe like two or three times, but there's something I'm not understanding about it. Okay. Um, so at this point, I've gotten to the very end of the sequence yep. 
And I did it to where this came out, I twisted it and it came off. Uh, I then put it back and reset the puzzle and try to do it again, but now it won't, uh, like this part won't spring out. Okay. There was a pin hop somewhere. So just on your puzzle, mm -hmm. uh, you're gonna wanna like center that one with the channel underneath, and then you're gonna wanna just pop it into place manually yourself. Okay. Like pop it locked. Okay. And once it's locked, you know, it'll stay. But you wanna push it all the pin all the way out. I see. Okay. I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna get a better instrument here. Give me one second. I wanna pop this one outwards to lock it. Yeah. That seems locked now. All right, let's let's run through it one more time. Make sure that I got everything uh, proper. I because I, I I solved it like twice, but I guess I just got confused in the resetting process, and that might have been my fault. It's hard to keep track of it going backwards. So, we gotta first find the one that moves. And then once we find the one that moves. One second might be might be just easier to set you up here you, you can watch me you can watch me solve it live here okay so that's the first move now I figured after after a little while I figured that this was uh, zero in the sequence uh, but now it doesn't work if I go zero one because now this is zero right Correct. all right nice okay I got that part so uh, this would be this would be zero uh, now. So now we need zero one. Yep, you got it. Now it's zero uh, zero one one. Uh, uh, nope. No zero one again. It would have to be one again. Now it's uh, zero one two. Yep. Zero one two three. And then zero, one, two, three, four, five. But now this one's stuck. No way, it's stuck. Yeah, that's what happened to me last time here. Okay. And and the only way that I could make it is if I went here and then went here. Um, and is it, you made sure that it was all the way open, like as far as you could push it out? Yeah. It's pushed out. Oh, here we go. Now it's... Now it seems to be pushed out a little bit more. Let's try it again. Ah. Ah, there we go. Okay. So now we should be reset if I were to go here. Boom. Okay. Now we're going now we're going back in time and now we're good. You know, that tells me that we need to make those pins taller so it never skips. I see. Yeah, that, that was where the trouble was. Okay, so we would just hop over that little pin instead of uh, instead of pushing yeah. it down. Okay, but I mean, now that I know that, everything should be solvable. I don't think I'd have to send this back or anything. I think this works perfectly well. Uh, just might have been, it just might have been, uh, because it hopped over that once, it might have been hard to get it back to where it was. I didn't know that you had to move that pin, so. Okay, good to know. Thank you again, Jesse. Sorry to bug you. Uh, and, and hey, for everybody, for everybody uh, listening at home, is there anything you're working on right now that, uh, that they can look forward to? <laughs> hey, yeah, we've got another Western theme puzzle that's going to be coming out. Uh, maybe we hope a month. So oh, okay. Watching my Instagram for that. All right, we'll do. I'll leave the link below. Thanks, Jesse. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Yep, you too. Bye. Ah, uh, what a nice guy. Um, okay, so we. By the way, I've got like some ink down here now because the pen broke. <laughs> but now we are back. Okay, we are back. Uh, forget which. It's really hard to keep track of which orientation. So boom, you actually feel it. I actually felt the pin move this time as opposed to it would just kind of like skate over it and now I felt the pin move. So boom, bam, 
Yes, opened, okay. Now we're going back. And there we go. That is the Fibonacci puzzle. So, hey, listen, puzzle solves don't always go according to plan. Um, these are handcrafted. So, you know, there obviously uh, will be slight deviations here and there, but it's so awesome to be able to contact the creator. And I'm sure if you've purchased one of these because they do go for, you know, a bit of a price tag, seeing as how they're all so meticulously crafted, I'm sure that if you reach out to Jesse, if you have any problems with any of the pieces, uh, he's, he'll be more than happy to uh, assist you through the solve and to make sure that everything is uh, back to normal, which he did here. So a lot of this probably my fault from just, uh, you know, the way that I'm handling it or whatnot, I'm a little rough with puzzles and, you know, I'll admit that. But uh, that being said, I am very happy because now I am back to normal, back to square one. The puzzle is not broken. I do not need to send it back to Jesse and I get to keep this beautiful little puzzle box. Uh, definitely as far as his puzzles go, in my opinion, the prettiest, like the most aesthetically simple and beautiful uh, not too complex, definitely different from his normal sequential discoveries, but this puzzle I don't think was meant for that. I think this was strictly like a mathematical challenge that he gave himself and his team and was like, hey, we're going to we're gonna make something based off the Fibonacci sequence that looks like a spiral, and I just think that is the absolute, like, the most beautiful little work of art. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below and definitely check out Jesse's Instagram and his YouTube as well. If you're interested in a lot of the woodworking and the crafting that goes into this, he posts videos um, on all of his builds. So definitely go check him out. Go show him some love. Guys, I appreciate you watching once again. Thank you so much. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace.